Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how you can install Zorin OS in your virtual box. Before starting the video, I would like to say a few things about Zorin OS. Zorin OS is a Linux-based operating system, which is very fast and open source, and most of all its security is quite powerful. Before the 16.2 update Zorin OS was just like any other all Linux-based operating systems. But in this 16.2 update, Zorin OS has enabled Windows app support. Now this operating system is much more reliable than Windows and Mac OS, because unlike Windows and Mac, Zorin is free of cost, it has a very easy to use UI, it's much more powerful, secure, and the updates are quite regular. But yes, it does have a pro version which has a light UI, some creative suits apps and advanced productivity softwares. If you are going to install Zorin OS in VirtualBox, then I recommend that you install the free version. Otherwise you can download the pro version which will also help in the development of Zorin OS. So let's start with the tutorial. For this tutorial you will need VirtualBox. You can download VirtualBox from the link in description. Just head on to the link and click download VirtualBox. On the second page, click on Windows Hosts if you have Windows operating system. Otherwise you can download for your corresponding operating system. Once downloaded, install VirtualBox and open up the software. After that head on to the Zorin OS site and download any of the free version of Zorin OS you like. If you have a good computer with recommended requirements, then I prefer that you download the core version, otherwise, you can download the light version. The installation process is same for both of them. If for any reason, your download is not starting, then click on download from a different server option and choose the corresponding server for your location. I have already downloaded the ISO file of Zorin OS core version as you can see. Next, open your virtual box, click on new. After that, name your virtual machine Zorin OS. In the folder option you can leave it to default or set a different location for your virtual machine to save. I will save it in my C disk because that is an SSD, so my virtual box will work faster. Next in the version tab, select Ubuntu 64-bit. Click on next. Now in the base memory section, I suggest you to give it at least 4 gigabytes RAM. For my case, I will give it 6 GB RAM, because I have 16 gigs of RAM installed. For you it might be different based on your amount of RAM. In the processor take it to the green mark, click on next, in the disk size option, give it at least 25 gigs. I will give it 30 gigs. Click on next, check the specifications, hit on finish. Before booting, click on settings. Now go to the advanced tab, and set both of these options to bidirectional. Now go to the display tab, and on the video memory option, in screen section take it to the max. Now in the storage tab, click on the empty disk icon. Now on the right hand side, click on the disk icon, and click on choose a disk file, and locate to your Zorin OS ISO file. Next click on OK, and click on start button. Once booted up to this part, your Zorin OS will take some time. It depends on your PC specifications, it can take up to 5 to 10 minutes. After a few minutes you will see this screen. Now you can click on try Zorin OS before installing it on your PC, or you can just click on install Zorin OS. For this we are going to click on install. Next choose your keyboard layout, and click on continue. Once done, you will see this three options. If you check the first option the installation process will take some time, because it will update everything inside Zorin OS while installing. You can uncheck that and your Zorin OS installation will be faster, but you will have to update everything manually after that. For me, I will keep everything as default and hit continue. Next you will see this option where it says, erase disk and install Zorin OS, we will keep it default, because we are installing this inside VirtualBox, and click on install. After that select your current location and click continue. Next you will need to fill up your name, your computer's name, and then pick a username, and a password. After all of that is done, click on continue. The installing process will take some time, so I will skip to that part. When the installation is complete, it will ask for a restart. Do not click and restart, exit the virtual machine, and select power of the machine, and hit OK. Now open the settings tab, go to the storage option, and remove the ISO file, and hit OK. And click on start. Now to use it on full screen, you have to install Guest Edition CD image. On the top left side, click on the Devices option, and select Insert Guest Edition CD image. You will need to enter your password to install VBox Editions. I have skipped and opened up the software updater which will download the updates automatically. Once that is done, close your virtual machine and restart it again. 
Now to turn it to full screen, click on the restore down button and turn it to full window mode again. It will automatically be upscaled, and you will be able to use it with full screen mode. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Zorin OS in VirtualBox. That was it for the video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if this video helped you in any way. Subscribe to EasyBot for more tech tutorials.